A Bellevue woman says she let her dog outside for seconds when two big dogs jumped her fence and attacked her dog. Hours later, she learned he couldn't be saved. The Nebraska Humane Society says the two dogs were not registered or vaccinated. KETV News Watch 7 Sarah Feely speaks with the owners of the little dog who share their frustration. A yellow dog pads into frame outside Terry Marinin's Bellevue home. Within seconds, you hear another dog barking and that yellow dog takes off running. When I heard the commotion, I ran out the back door and I just saw him laying there. Marinin had just gotten home and let her Pomeranian Papillon mix, Jack, outside. She'd walked a few steps away when she heard the attack, then saw it. So they both jumped here. She says two big dogs had hopped over her backyard fence and were tearing her 10-pound dog apart. I was just shaking. She and her children rushed Jack to the vet, but says his fur covered up injuries he could not recover from. He had broken ribs, punctured lung. He had bites real bad to his legs and they were swollen and bruised and his neck all the way across was cut open. They made the tough decision to put Jack down. It tears my heart out. I mean, Jack, Jack was amazing. Back at home grieving, the family took to social media to find the owner of the two dogs. She says they found the owner asking for help on a lost pets page. Marinin says people commented they'd seen the dogs for hours in multiple places that day. They had seen them and they'd been said they were hopping fences looking to fight. Marinin says she contacted the dog's owner after that person posted the dogs were home safe. The Nebraska Humane Society says it cited the owner for having unregistered, unvaccinated dogs that were not properly restrained. I think that just shows right from the get-go they were not responsible. NHS says the owners must now register the two as potentially dangerous dogs. That comes with several requirements, including keeping the dogs muzzled on a six-foot leash and harnessed when off their property. Jack was right here. If they don't obey, they'll be deemed reckless owners and have to surrender the dogs. Marinin hopes that works, so no one else goes through what they did. And it worries me even more now that they've attacked, they've had that taste, that fight, that hunt. It, it was terrible. It's something I don't want it to happen to anybody else. Sarah Feely, KETV, Newswatch 7.